Beloved, welcome once more to our teaching on marriage. Marriage is a very, very, very vast topic, different angles to it. But I'm staying today, I'm focusing today on the staying power of marriage. The staying power of marriage. A lot of people will enter marriage, they're like, you know, when some people enter a boat, a canoe rather, not even a boat, a canoe, and then all of a sudden as they're entering and then the canoe begins to tip from side to side. I don't know if you've ever witnessed that. And sometimes it stabilizes, other times it capsizes, you know, just capsizes, turns over, and all the passengers are thrown into the sea or the river or pond. So is marriage to some people. So is marriage. But marriage is meant to be, you know, peaceful, beautiful. Yes, you will walk. It's like when you are in a canoe, you have three passengers, four passengers, for example, but most often with two, just two passengers. I learned that, you know, when I was young, going back, you know, to the village, and you see one person in front, the other person at the back. One has the 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 the, the, the oars on one side to the left side, the other one has the oars to the right side. And you see them paddling as they paddle. They do it in unison. And you see the boat gliding smoothly over the surface of the water. Even when they get to some rough current areas, they're able to stabilize the boat and it doesn't tip over. They do it jointly together. You see them move in a swing, move in a rhythm, forward and then back, forward and then back. If it's a fast moving one, they go forward, backward, back, forward, backward, forward, backward, and the boat glides forward and it moves forward and it is smooth. That's the picture that Mary is supposed to have. The husband in front, the wife at the back, two of them on the same level, but one in front, the other at the back. They are leading, they are, they are moving, they are moving, they are always moving in unison, unity, together, oneness, smooth, beautiful. And you can experience that. You can experience that. The Lord himself, you know, said to me to tell the people, to tell you to go back to the beginning. And what is the beginning? You know that you're missing the, 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 the blessings of marriage. It's embedded there in the word of God. And I'm going to start today as by the spirit of a living God, I believe and I pray and I thank him for opening your understanding, opening your heart to the truth of his word that he has. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. This is where the Lord made that declaration. And in 24, we have when the Lord brought Eve to Adam after separating her from his side. So they had two people now, two in one. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. Verse 25. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Hmm. You see, to have it, the staying power of marriage, that's what I'm talking about. The staying power of marriage. It cannot stay. It cannot have power without a foundation. And that foundation is God's word. Your marriage must be based on God's word, which is the covenant we have, which, you know, we have just read now. In Genesis chapter 2, verses 24 and 25, the Lord made the declaration in verse 18, carried it out in 24, 25. That's the covenant. If people would really learn to sit down, you know, and, you know, pieces the bone 
put it together and eat the bone, eat the flesh, they will have beautiful marriages, stable marriages, strong marriages, long-lasting marriages. They will have no damages, truly speaking. Because within this God's word, is the, that's the foundation of the marriage. And within the foundation, that's your covering. Then there's the Holy Spirit empowering you if you receive him. Within this, you have unconditional love. You have unconditional love. Yes, unconditional love. All of these things will stabilize your marriage and keep your marriage healthy and strong. Within this covenant of marriage, these few verses we just read, embedded in these, you have compatibility. And when we talk about compatibility, it's all encompassing for you and your partner. Within this, we have the spiritual compatibility, the physical, the psychological. How do you meet emotional needs? How, what about your spiritual lives? What about your purpose in life? They are all embedded here. Then communication, how do you communicate? How? What about your rules? What are your purpose fulfillment? They are all embedded here within these two verses, within the covenant. So within that covenant is a, you know, it is a threefold code and cannot be easily broken as we have in the book of Ecclesiastes 4, 12. You can't be broken, can't be easily broken. But because people aren't founded on the word, they are not founded on the Lord, they just go again and just do whatever they like as they like it. So if your heart has been broken, please love again, forgive. Go back to the beginning, make amends. It's like when they want to, someone wants to you know, renovate a building. Most often just the building, they cannot do the foundation. But for marriage, you need to go back to the foundation. Genesis 2, 24, 25. Please, you can get my book. I talked about uh, The Mystery of Marriage Unraveled by Veronica Nogo. The Mystery of Marriage Unraveled. Please check Amazon or Okada Books for e-copy or from Okada Book. You want the paperback, you can get it from Amazon. You can also check our website, Agape Marriage Ministry. Read, pray, you on your own, then you and your spouse. And if you are single, it's also good for you to get prepared and be ready. Okay? Be ready. Allow your life, your marriage, everything about you to be founded on the Lord. The Lord himself gave us in his word in uh, Matthew chapter 7 from verse 24. He said, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the floods blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house and it fell and great was the fall of it in this life yes there will be rain there will be floods there will be wind challenges problems situations that will test your love test your relationship but as long as you are founded on him, on the word of God, founded in this covenant, you will not fall. You will not fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for your daughter, your son, as they listen to this, whosoever is listening to this message, heal their heart, give them the grace to forgive, to start afresh, to go back to the beginning, let their house be rebuilt give them the grace to have it rebuilt and you be in their center and that the cord will not be easily broken let there be healing and if there's any who hasn't given their lives they don't know you are savior and lord 
I ask in the name of Jesus that they come to a covenant relationship with you. Because as your son or daughter, they have great privileges in you. Thank you, Father, for healing. Thank you for saving this one. Thank you for restoring their marriage. Thank you for giving them the staying power of marriage. They will experience a heaven on earth marriage. Blessed be your holy name, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please subscribe to our channel. Click on the subscribe button. And then as soon as we have any new messages, you'll be one of the first to get it. Thank you. God bless you.